Okay, today we're visiting Turkey. Look at this one. This is just adorable. It's a one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Just cute. Little kids. A star with a moon inside of it. And two little ones. All right, so let me take you through all the stamps that we have from Turkey. All right, here we have a 60. Nice building. Here we have a little bit of the desert here. This is a 1M. See the camel in a little hut. A few trees and then how back. On top there you kind of see some of the architect there. Really nice stamp, really. It's got a lot for you to stop and look at. That's what I like about some of these old stamps and stuff. This is a lot to see, not just a plain picture. Okay, and then we have a 50 here. And this one is also a 50. There you go, a different view. It's kind of, kind of taken from on top of the building. Looking down the path that goes to the building from the building. Okay, and then this one. Ooh, it's a three. Look at that. Look at all the details of what's hanging and everything. Very nice. This is artwork at its best, really. Look at all the details they put into it to make a stamp. Okay, then we have this one. 10C. Here we have a 10. <coughs> a 200. A 15. Another 15. Now these two are the same, only one's a 15 and one's a 10. In the days of the cute little bow ties. Okay, then we have a 50. See? A one half. Wow, one half. Very good condition. And we have this one half. Like a flower with a moon inside of it. Very different. And of course the one I brought to you at the very beginning, the one. So cute. Then another one. Kind of the world with a flag with a moon on it. Very different. Oops, and then another one half. Alright, so the one that I find most interesting, of course, is this one. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll take you around the world through vintage postage stamps. So today, we've been in Turkey, and tomorrow we'll go to something else. 
Hope you've enjoyed this. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're going to España. Look at this. This is a really beautiful one. <clears throat> it reminds you of, uh, what do they call them, the pagan horses, uh, the metal signs and stuff. They are very valuable and everyone's trying to collect them. Just reminds you of one of those antique signs. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. All right, let me take you through the rest that we have from España. Okay, first we have this one here, the 50C. Okay, then we have a 25 CS. And we have a 2. Look at that. Look at the details in that. Okay, then we have a 50 cent. Quite the hair doing the mustache, huh? Okay, and then these are 25. There are two of them together, so we're going to keep them together. And we come down to a 50 cents. And of course, the one we brought to you at the very beginning, the horse that can fly. Okay. And this one here, a 25 cents. Look at that. Look at the architect of that. At the upper right hand corner. Isn't that neat? Have to stop and look at it all the way to see all the details. Very pretty. Nice stamp. Classy looking. A lot goes into designing such a beautiful stamp like this. This is like a work of art along with history. Okay, and then we got this one here. That's a 15. Definitely was not a centered stamp. Which is one of the things you look for when you're buying old and rare stamps. Okay, look at this one. One PTS. Look at everything that's in it. Architect of the building. A little aviation there. It's a lot there to see. Okay, then we have a 15. We have a 10. <clears throat> have a 150. Look at this one. A 10. Riding their horses.
really a nice one. And when they have it like that, you know, you got the orange and then you got the black and white and the center has to go through the printing twice. So, you know, to get it right and to get it centered like this is definitely a talented job. Yeah, okay, then we have a 60. A 25. It's quite a long one here. Long stamp. Okay, then we have a 10. We have a one, just a crown. Then we have a 30. Okay, so the interesting one is this one right here. Hope you've enjoyed visiting España with me. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And we'll travel around the world in vintage postage stamp. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting USA. All right, I have this one here. It seems to be, I think, is the most interesting one out of this. But you go ahead and decide. You can always leave it in the comments to which one you felt was more interesting. This one seems to have a lot of, have a good story and a lot of history behind it. You know, with the big ships and the small little pedal canoes and getting on the land and everything else. Jamestown in 1607. Bonding of Jamestown. All right. Let me take you to the rest of them that we have so you can decide which one you prefer. Okay, first we have this one here, which is a 10. Look at that, standing nice and proud. All right. Okay, then we have this one here. Nevada, the settlement, three cent stamp. Okay, then we have a two, two cent stamp. Look at this one. Interesting, isn't it? James Cooper. Okay, and here we have 1859 to 1959. Silver Continental. Four cents. Sentinel of 1859 to 1959. You get the horse, they're putting down the rails for the railroad. That's four cents. Okay, and then we have this big three cent one. International Exposition. The Golden Gate. Three cent stamp. It's 1959. Very nice. Okay, then we take you through a half cent. And of course, the one I brought to you that I thought was interesting. 
Jamestown of 1607. Very pretty stamp. Okay, then we have this one here, United States of America, Philippine Islands. A 20 cent, look at that. Isn't that an interesting, I mean, take a real close look at the hat. Get all these little rivets on it. Comes to a point on top. Can you imagine how heavy that is? Right on top of your head. On a hot day, that must be sweaty. Ain't that an interesting helmet? Okay, and then we have this one here. United States of America, Philippine Islands, six. Look how lovely that is. Perfectly, well, almost perfectly centered. Mint condition, very nice, lovely. And we have a one cent stamp. Foster. Okay, now these two are both, well, one's a two cent and the other one's a three cent. But look at the difference in the design and stuff. They're both green. Okay, and we're in a four cent stamp here. Communication for peace. Oh, this one's 1862 to 1962, Civil War. Civil War Sentinel. Interesting stamp. Okay, then we have this one here, three cent stamp. Detroit, let me see, 1701 to 1951. There you go. Look at all the canoes. Okay, then we have a Civil War Sentinel, 1864 to 1964. The Wilderness, five cent stamp, got a can in there, okay, and this one is the 300th anniversary of New York City, three cent stamp. See the house, the windmill, the ships, the little boats, and in the back shadow of the background, all the buildings. Well, that's one to really stop and look. You can see different things as you're looking at it. It's always interesting to see behind the picture. Look at all you can see. That's the art of history in a postage stamp. Okay, let's go down here to a three cent. 1875 to 1950. Bankers Association, three cent stamp. Okay. Nation Unites. This is a United Nations stamp. Okay, and here we have a 13 cent stamp. The Wheel Rights of Independence.
And this is two cents, National Parks, two cent stamps. Just different pieces of it. This is two of them together to make that picture. They have some more that completes the picture too. Okay, then we have a ten cent one. All right, so, well, maybe the most interesting, that one's the most interesting because it has a lot to, to look at and everything, but this one here might be of more interest uh, factor to a lot of people. It's just a very unique helmet. All right, be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll travel around the world looking at the art in vintage postage stamp. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today let's travel to Tanzania. Never been there before, but let's visit it through the art of old postage stamps. All right, this one's rather interesting because it's got more than one thing on it. Hmm, 1964. 1896 to 1964. Alright. So, I definitely love a lot of animals. So here we have a two-cent one. The zebra. And we have 150 with giraffes. This one here, let me see. Hmm. Don't really see a price on this one. Interesting. They're getting themselves some water. And this one's a five cent. I don't know why that one didn't have a price on it. I don't see it anywhere. Else. Okay, this one's a five cent. The lion. No, yep, buffalo don't have no no price on it. Hmm. Okay, the lion has the five cents. Look at the little baby there. Impala, a one cent one. Oh, look at that. Oh, looking right at ya. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. Mom, dad, and baby. Very nice stamp. Okay, and here we have a two airplane up in the sky here. The 75th anniversary of the first powered flight, 1903 to 1978. All right. And the one we brought you at the very beginning, 10 cents. Then we have a two. Traditional musical instruments. That's the instruments of their native land. Look at that. 1987. Okay. Work in the fields. Here's a five. Cornfield. Good old tractor. Here is a two. Here is a five pottery. It's 1985. 
Here's the year 1961 to 1981. Okay, and here we have a one. Look at that. Nice view with upper view of the land and the waters and some of the architectural buildings. The ship in the water. And this one's a little bit. Well, it should be that way, or maybe it should lay down the other way. This way here, as it's the post office. Okay, 1981. Post office, no, it looks more, well, letter sorting, it is the post office. Okay, this one probably needs to lay down too. 160, there's a flight going up. Oh, what's in that corner down there? Huh. All right, double message in this one. There you go. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll travel around the world through vintage postage stamps. Bye-bye. Today we're visiting Canada. Here's one I thought was rather interesting. To have the three planes flying up, while one of the smaller olden one is flying across. This is 1909 to 1959. They're a little bit interesting to have the two different flights going on. All right, let me take you through some more of Canada here. Let's start with this guy here. Oh well, five cents. Canadian stamp. Then we have this one here, with the Canadian flag and kind of a Christmas flag, I guess. Canada Games, okay, Olympic Games with the Canadian flag. All right. Nice and interesting. And the one I brought you at the very beginning, 1909 to 1959. Then we have this one. Look at the interesting of this one. I mean, there's a lot to see here. Okay, first you're looking at the map and the compass and, you know, looking at all you need to see. Then you have your ship. And most likely that's the captain. All right, and this is a five cent Canadian stamp. Very nice. Okay, and then we have the five cent. Got yourself a, be a beaver there. Canadian beaver. Okay, then we got a two cent stamp here. Then a seven cents. Looks like it's stamped 1911. I can see all the lines in the printing. Nice to be able to look close like that. Okay, and this is 1758, a five cent stamp. 1758 is what it represents. Very nice. Okay, then we have this one. This is rather nice. One plane on the ground and three up in the air. Oh, two up down in the ground. One right in front of us loading up and they're looking at the coordinates 
and then one out there in the background you can see oh you can see two in the background a whole line of them there six cents air cents six cents air cents six okay hmm there you go very interesting picture love this one okay then another six cents Canadian one all the children praying okay then we'll take you through a two cent a four cents a one cent for the crowns on the corners the upper corners Long, of course, with the Canadian leaf. Okay, then a six cents. Then a ten. It's always nice to closely look at the pictures see what you can see and we get a three cent all right it's got to come down here to a two cent another two cent The other one was in green, this one's in brown. Three cent. A one cent. Sometimes you have the same picture, just different colors. And a two cent. Okay, so I think the interesting one was that one right there. Out of this video. Very nice. Nicely designed. Plenty of aviation. Alright, stay tuned for more. Bye-bye. Okay, today we're going to visit some Oriental stamps. Look at this one. This one seems to be the interesting one out of this video. Uh, 1960. Look at the way the waters are going and stuff. It's 10. It's almost like they're about to be shipwrecked. Very interesting stamp. All right, let's take you through all of them. Okay, first we have this one here. It's an eight. Nicely centered, look at that. Beautifully centered stamp. Okay, then we have a 1959. This is a 10, kind of just showing you the map of where this stamp is from. And we have this one here, 1958, showing the world and all the kids playing. Some are hand in hand with a beautiful ribbon wrapped all around them. Okay, then we got this one. Wow, this one's really nice. Look at the frame around the picture. And it gets to show you the architect of the land. Very nice. Alright, and this is a 10. Interesting stamp. Okay, then we have another 10 here. And another 10. Let's see. Well, it's kind of, I guess it's supposed to be this way. All right, let's show it right. 
<laughs> Let me see if I can just turn them around here. It'll be easier. There we go. Oops, where am I? There we are. Wow. Look at the ledge of that. Unreal, isn't it? Ooh. Then you have the picture there. Well, this is really different. All right. Very different postage stamp. Okay, and the one I showed you at the very beginning. It's almost like there's a little piece there. Oh, it's to show like an album. Oh, I see. It's like a book. Oh, the story. Wow, cool. Kind of took the book and the cover and made a stamp out of it. Must be an interesting story. All right, and this one here. And we have an 800 or eight dollars. And here we have some that are same fella, just different prices and different colors. This is a 15, a 5, love the pillows there. And then see how the same guy, but the printing of the paper, see how it went? So it did not print right. Look at that. Very different. And this is the $1 one. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Like it was crooked or something or folded over. Didn't finish printing right. Okay, and a 10. $20. Another $20. And $1. this one. Well, I can't tell because, oh, I one dollar right there in the center. There you go. One dollar. Twenty dollars. Two dollars. Okay, so the interesting one out of this is the book. very interesting. All right, I hope you've enjoyed visiting some of my old vintage oriental stamps. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll visit another country and bring you the stamps from that country. So if you want to travel around the world with me in viewing the art of the postage stamp, join me as a friend and we'll go down through history looking at them all. Bye-bye. Okay, today we're going to Italy to show you some Italian old, rare, and vintage postage stamps. Look at this one. This one I find very interesting. Very nice. All right, let me take you through all that we have. Okay, first we have this one here. It's like a 150. It says 1960 on it. And here, okay. 
Makes you want to look at it and think that it's a bird, like it's got wings, but it's really somebody's foot. And this is a five. Isn't that interesting, huh? Really stop and look at it. It's got something just wrapped around the bottom of the leg. The illusion of an old vintage postage stamp. Interesting. Okay. And this one here is a 15. Riding the horse. Beautiful, isn't it? Then in blue, the same picture. It's a 10. Riding the horse. Well, he's not riding it. He's actually standing beside it. Look at it. That's not riding the horse. It looks that way. Wow, they like the illusion effect. Because there's the whole horse and they're standing. You see the feet on the other side. So they're standing. Ha, huh, cool. Wasn't well, that different? All right. Okay, and then we have the Olympics one. There we go. 5L. And we have an L25. It says 1610 to 1960. And this one here, L15, another Olympic one. And of course the one I brought to you at the very beginning, which is a 3. Very nice. And we have an L30. Monument. Now the Olympic one, L35. And we have a 5 Leary. That's to show you some of the nice architect over there, huh? It's nice to look and see everything there is to see in a old vintage postage stamp. Because there's a lot of artwork that was involved in making this stamp. Okay, and here we have a 10 Leary. Plane just flying in. With that connection of hands. See, the plane's kind of in the background, but if you look in front, two people holding hands. So you got to look at the whole, they like doing the uh, different effects here. You first see, and then you have to double see. You see that? The plane's in the background, and then the two hands holding each other. Right in front of the plane. Very cool stamp. Love it. Okay, then we have an L15. Horse and wagon. Or maybe a stagecoach. Okay, and this is supposed to represent birds flying in. Over the water, a two Leary, Italia, postage stamp. Okay, and then here we have, look at the architect of this, two Leary. What beautiful architect, look at that. That's a beauty. Very nice. 
Okay, and here's another one where you can look at the architect of that one too. This is a four. Very nice buildings. Gives you an idea of what things look like over there before you go on vacation. Right? Okay, and this is a 1.25. Simple one. And another one supposed to represent the Olympics. L60. And then an L25. Alrighty. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll take a trip around the world through the old vintage poster stamps. Looking at the art to give us a little bit of idea of how history was. So be sure to sub me and we'll bring you some more. Bye bye. Alright, here we are today. Look at this. Isn't this interesting? It's a four cents. This is a dancer. And he made it on a postage stamp. How do you like that, huh? That's a sealant postage stamp. Now let me take you through the rest that we have in this video. I'm starting with this one here. This is a five. And this is 1948. Okay, then we have this one here, a nine cent. And we have a six cents postage and revenue stamp. And this one's a two cent. I'll take a look at the fella that's on that one in the upper left hand corner. The same picture but a different person. This is also two cents. So both two cents. Look at the extra lines and everything that's in this postage stamp. But they are basically, well, this one here shows a little more trees than what that one does. But these are both the same picture, both two cents. Just different people. Interesting, isn't it? This one's more far away. The left one right here is more far away kind of look. Picture, and this one brings it up closer. But then by bringing it up closer, it also brings us more trees on top there. It says, Tapping Rubber. All right. Interesting, huh? Okay, then we have a 25 cent one. Wow, look at the architect of that. Isn't that nice? That's some beautiful buildings, different design. Very nice. That's a temple. Very nice. Okay, then we have a six cent here. 1910 to 1935. Get the waters, you get to see the city. And then, of course, his royal, his crowns and everything all around him. Very nice stamp. Elegant looking. Okay, and of course, the one we brought to you at the very beginning, the four cent, the dancer. And we have a three cent here. Okay, now 
Now these are all pretty much the same color, I think. Well, no, there isn't. Okay, here's a two cents. And then this is a two cent the other way, and this is a war stamp. It says war stamp right on it. And we have a three cents, and it says war stamp right on it. Postage and revenue. And then this one's a five cent. All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend as we take you around the world to see all the different old and vintage postage stamps. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're traveling to Argentina. So this one's rather an interesting one, kind of like a town hall meeting here going on. It says 1818 to 1916. It's a 10 cents. All right, let me take you through all of them that we have here. Starting with this one here, it's a three cents. Look how it kind of makes a frame, except for the center on top there. Frame's kind of gone. See how the dark green goes around the white frame? But on top, it's a little bit different. This is a two. And then we have these two. They're both kind of the same picture. One is three. And the other one is a 12. Both just sitting there. Sun on the horizon. Relaxing on a fancy bench. Okay, now here we have a five. Here we have a 1, 1854 to 1954. Okay, then we go to a 5. We have a horse here, 5 cents. They always do so well at doing horses, putting them on postage stamps. Beautiful poses. Okay, then we have this 25 cent one, plane over the mountains. Okay, then we have a 3 cent one here. And here's again that plane over the mountain one without so much uh, postage stamped all over it. Okay, then we have a five. We have another five cent here. have this big one here. Pretty much takes an awful lot of the envelope putting that one on. It's a five, but it's the waterfall. Nice waterfall. Okay, and we have a 12 here. And a one. And we have a 2, 1810 to 1960. 
mayo, 25 de mayo. Okay, and the one we brought you at the very beginning, the 10 cent one. Here we have a ship, that's an eight. Is 1965. Where the crows are out today, you can hear them. Okay, there's a two, also 1965. This one here is a five. This is on a different color paper. Kind of uh, greenish paper. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these all to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And we'll travel somewhere else around the world on the next video. So come check out the artwork in History Vintage Postage Stamp. Bye-bye now.